are in San Francisco, California. So I know there's some viewers that are from out of state or even out of the country that never been to San Francisco. And let me tell you, it's always cold, bro. Look, it's foggy and we're in, well, I guess it's like the end of summer, but it's freaking foggy, dog. It's freezing out here. It's probably like 60 degrees. The sun is nowhere to be found, but we're headed to a car meet. We're taking a Tesla Model X Plaid. We had a hard park it. Well, I think it lifted now, but overnight, you know, since this car is on airbags or air suspension, we had to lower it so it's hard parked. But let's go ahead and head out. Oh wait, I think I have the key. This is how it works, guys. Sometimes you don't have to take the phone out, but in this case we do. Open the door. We get in it. All oh, white interior. It comes with a girl, just in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> And then press the brake, door closes. That's it. Turn things down. This one comes with the, oh, wait, hold on. This one comes with the yoke steering. I made a whole video on this car like a couple months ago, but this one comes with the yoke steering wheel, right? And I was like, this steering wheel is too far in, right? Everything's digitalized. Did I say that right? Dig digitalized? Digitalized. Anyways, this is how you move the steering wheel. I think that's perfect, right there. And then you just exit. I'll save it. Oh yeah, I guess you can save it. That's perfect. This windshield goes all the way up. So you can just see how cold San Francisco is. And the sun's coming out. Yeah, it's barely coming out. Over here though, it's freaking... Left, babe. Left. Uh, I think the left, best left, part left, too. Left, 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 left. Uh, like this left? Oh, 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 oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what makes this car so fun, is the fact that you can do stuff like that. Right, 1,000 horsepower. It's a uh, SUV, guys, 1,000 horsepower. And so you're able to like zip around. Just exactly how we did. Oh yeah, it's sunny over here. For like people who've never been in San Francisco, it's exactly what it looks like. It's cool, I guess. Obviously I'm used to it, because I've been here so many times, but it's cool. See, a lot of people uh, talk down on Teslas because they're electric, which I, I get it, right? I will never trade my gas cars for an electric car, right? But I wouldn't mind having one in the fleet. So you guys got to understand, they're very. this is very convenient from the aspect of driving, right? I press and hold this button, and it drives for me. It auto, it auto steers for me. If I'm in traffic, it stops the car, it accelerates the car. It is it's very convenient, extremely convenient. And that is why I would own a Tesla. This one to be exact, I just love the Model X because of the windshield and then the doors come up like that, like, you know what I mean? It's just such a flex, but yeah, very, very convenient. It allows, allows uh, the pressure to be taken off while driving. It seems like uh, a pro electric car vlog, but it's not. I'm just, I'm just giving you guys my experience, that's all. One of the main things that I have to do every time I get inside this car, though, I can only do this because I'm not driving, right? But uh, one of the main things I like to do when I get inside this car is go to... It also knows when you're not paying attention because there's a camera right here. You guys can't see that. And so it tells you on the screen to put your hands on the steering wheel. But anyways, I have to put it in very low because, you know, we got to ride low. Then I put the uh, suspension in advance and everything is, everything is on hard basically because, you know, we're in a, we're in an electric race car basically. We have made it to our destination. It just so happens that there is an E92 here. I didn't like come film this purposely or anything right looks good though we have a uh, e36 e46 sorry so you would you would take this one over uh, the yeah. other two are you serious I would it's cute I actually never I think I've ever seen a drop top one you would really take this one over the other two yes I like this one it's cute that's crazy no oh, way are you serious that's, yeah are you serious are you serious yeah I'm serious it's way more different than that. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty much the main area, so this is where all like the supercars are at. Alright, so let's start with this one. Okay. Interior. That's crazy, bro. I don't know, I, I, I just imagine my oh, carbon fiber wheels too. Busting in the sun. I just imagine myself driving a car like this, and I just... It's gonna happen for sure. I'm not saying it's not going to, but it's just like... It's crazy to imagine somebody driving a car like this, bro. Absolutely crazy. The Ventador pulled up. Yeah, this is crazy. 
crazy. Look at this though, four GT. Yo, the interior. That is insane, bro. Look at that steering wheel. Wow. Wow. I would love to see the. Uh, I know, right? Like the. Uh, the diagram as to like what everything is on this car. That's crazy. Then you got this. I know, I know, I know. You know what? It's, I think they pick up. I think those are individual throttle bodies. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, this is that's that's insane. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a Ford GT2. I could be wrong. Steering wheel. The right hand side. Yeah, this is a Ford GT. Oh, my bad. Sorry, we're good. This is crazy. Got a McLaren 765. <laughs> This is crazy, man. I would, uh, I would actually take this car over a lot of cars just because it looks like a legit spaceship. Question though, which one, which one are you taking? Are you taking this one, or would yeah. you take the Ford GT, the the full out race car, the red one over there? This one. Let's go. Sure. Let's go walk over this there. Sure. Let's walk over there. Let's this walk one over there. Sure. This one. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? I'm so serious. Why this one though? It is pretty clean. Like I like, I like it when the car has like carbon blue ceramic. Like that. Like it's yeah. like the blue. To be honest, it's though, a I don't, nice blue, and I like the orange. I don't really like the the blue around the. I like it. Is if it I like, if I personally had this car, I would take that off, and I would just let the, the wheels be all black, and I'd let the blue. It has like that blue glitter to it. The color's clean. Let me wrong, but I, like I just don't. It. I don't like the blue around the. I like, I like it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it has a little swoosh on the wheel. A swoosh. A little swoosh. Thank you. This is actually the perfect comparison right here. So we have a Huracan next to an Aventador. So you guys can look, look and see that they're actually completely different. Which one would you take? You take it. She doesn't like black cars. But which one are you take? You taking the black car or the blue car? Blue. Why? Duh. Why? Because <laughs> it just stands out more. It's because it's blue though. I know, but it, it catches your eye on the road. Yeah. Like, you see a color. I think look at the color first, and then the, the bank of the car. Well, because that's the big dog over this one. That's why. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> The biggest flex about uh, this one right here, let's squeeze past this, is the interior matches, dog. Just about. Look at that. What? And it smells good in here. That's nice. That's nice. You see the interior? Be careful. Don't touch anything. You see that? That's clean, huh? That's crazy. That's clean. Oh, that's custom. All of it's custom. Oh, it's custom? Yeah, it doesn't come like this. Does it come black? That's crazy, huh? Huh? It comes black? Uh, I mean black or whatever other color, yeah. but definitely doesn't come in this color. It's your dream car. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it's her dream car is an R8. That's crazy, huh? That's like kind of random to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so her dream car is an R8 next to this SV at Ventador. I like since high school. I was like, I want an Audi. It's clean, don't be wrong. But did you know, so you know that black car that she said you didn't like over there because it's black? This is, this is literally, the, it has the same motor in it. Well, she's all hyped. Did you know that? It has the same motor? It has the same motor? As the Huracan. So that's why people say it's basically like a cheaper Huracan because it has the same motor. I was like, I've never seen one in person, but this is a BMW Z1. So the reason what makes this car like so uh, iconic or unique is these doors actually come up instead of like coming out. Super, super, super rare. Never seen one in person. That's kind of cool. If this isn't a rig, I don't know what it is, dog. And he has a bike on the back, too. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna take off. Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> Jose, where you at? This is sick, though, bro. I would drive this. And for an interesting point, it has a, a, a hood dump. So I wonder what's in here. This is sick, bro. Oh, okay. We're gonna be oh, in definitely take it. Another uh, random point, but her brother actually has a Lotus. We're gonna drive it in Vegas. Yeah, we gotta. Uh, we're definitely gonna make a video. I think it's the same exact one, right? Looks, it looks the same. Great. No, but I mean like the body style. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's the same body style. But we're definitely gonna have to fly out to go make a video on that because I think that'd be sick. Yeah, cause it's, I've never, never been in a Lotus, never driven a Lotus. But yeah, it look, does look like a tiny car, but. If you guys don't know, um, the Tesla Roadster, the old ones, 
right it's the chassis is i think off of this car and that's why they kind of look similar so as you guys know this is 300 zx right this is a generation off of rz right the 370z now what you don't know is this is these are one of the worst cars to work on because there's no space to do anything dude it's right? so tight like you know like a simple spark plug yeah how you do it <laughs> oh my god you know what i mean like there's no space to do anything so that, these cars are known for like being yeah they're known for being like tough to work on it's crazy i mean it's cool because you know chromed out pieces you know all that stuff but man and i wonder what it, what it uh what it feels like to work on one of these i wouldn't want to know to be honest that looks crazy ferrari with the red interior but not just any red interior everything is red dog even the dash is red well you can actually see the carbon fiber bits right there it's nice and clean we actually saw one of these a couple months ago at uh rancho santa fe cars and coffee in san diego but that one was like satin ppf and yeah it, it just looked amazing <sighs> it follows me guys honestly i'm just uh i'm taking notes for like when i get mine i know exactly how i want it like the spec and all that stuff <sighs> sounds so good one day. <laughs> for sure one day but let's go and look at this uh nissan z over here as you guys know this is the new z right how you guys feel about it? You like it? You don't like it? This is the Nismo version too. You like it? You don't like it? Let's see those seats. I can't really see because of the glare. So that kind of sucks. But you like it? You don't like it? Uh, it's it's cool. My first time seeing it in person. Um, I don't know. I think those are the factory wheels, so they're not too bad. Can we see the seats over here? Oh yeah, actually you can. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can kind of see it. Seats are cool. Um, I would want to send them to, us to see if like they're comfortable or not compared to the uh, the last generation. But it's cool. Cool. Yeah, you like it? It's cool. Mine or this one? Come on, I think you know the answer. To that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I looked over here. I'm like, oh, this car is cool. She's like, oh, yeah, it's nice. It's wrapped. I want to know how you know, dog. I want to know how you know. Learning. That's crazy because I didn't even I didn't even peep that yet. And she's like, oh, it's wrapped. Uh, it is interesting because typically uh, that lip is carbon fiber, but they like uh, color match it to the car, so it is a little interesting. But looks cool. Wheels are cool. I just want to know how you knew it was wrapped, though. I just know. Oh, you just know, you just be knowing? Yeah, I do. Nice, cool. Looks good. Yeah, all these, all these people are hyped over the Pagani, right? They don't be knowing that they got a freaking 92 right next to it, bro. That's supercharged. Look at this. Supercharged. <laughs> and this uh this manifold looks sick because you can see the individual throttle bodies. That's it. Don't be wrong, this is sick, you know. The mirrors, full carbon fiber, interior looks crazy. But I'm still taking this over it. I'm still I'm still taking this over it, bro. That's just me though. I don't know it's not everybody's cup of tea when it comes to hypercar, but I don't know. What uh? It's a dumb question for you, but which car are you taking? Are you taking the E92? E92 is supercharged. Okay. Right? It's probably pushing 450, 500. I'm just okay. assuming, right? Or are you taking the Pagani? No, it's worth a lot more. Now. For real. Which one? The Pagani. Got a LS swap, RX7, and it has a wire tuck. Okay. LSX says LSX, but. I just say LS swap. Okay, that's cool. I know this thing is crazy. I know it gets routed for sure. All right, we're gonna try this again. You guys see this? Full carbon fiber, right? E92, supercharged. Which one are you taking? Pagani. Oh my god, bro. Why? Because it's color and because it's carbon fiber, right? Yeah, it's carbon fiber and it looks sexy. And it looks sexy. <laughs> so what are you? So you're saying that this is just nothing, huh? This is like a daily car. That's <laughs> honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be surprised if they're owned by the same person. This is like a I step out, we're going to a nice dinner. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, okay. this is like we're going to Whole Foods. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So we come up here to use the bathroom, right? And I hear a car. I'm like, what the heck? There's oh, more cars? No. I didn't even know this was up here. I just came to use the bathroom. That's crazy. You never see, you never see it. A center exit like that. This is crazy. Right hand drive. I think this might be this might be the cleanest super that I've ever seen. 
and I'm not even exaggerating. That hood is crazy. I've never seen a hood like that. Ever. Then we got this R34. This one. Okay. Color is clean. UBSs. Also right hand drive. Interior is mint with a capital M. All right, I'll try this again. <laughs> Go to the front. Which one are you taking? So we have a R34, Nismo, blue, right? We have a MK4 Supra. Why? It looks nicer. Honestly, I can't. I can't even. There's not even a wrong answer on this one, to be honest. I. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's a wrong answer on this one. They're both iconic cars, so. This one's just a there's little a, bit more rare. Two but. different vibes, though. Ah, okay, I'll, I'll give you that one. <laughs> My boy popped the hood. <laughs> Dog, look how big that turbo is. Look at this. Look at that. That, that thing is massive. Oh, All right, and we are heading out. Actually, you wanna you wanna tell them what you just told me? Your favorite car of the day? Yeah. Out of all the cars, guys. Out of all the cars that we saw today. Out of all the the freaking Pagani, the freaking E92, the Aventadors, the G, the what is it? The Ford GT. What else did we see? The R34s, the Supras, the GT3 R, the 992 GT3 RS. Probably my. Yeah, that's always nice. Though. Obviously, my favorite always car of the nice. day, right? Out of all of those cars, tell them what your favorite car is. That drop top red BMW. The the red car in the beginning of the video, <laughs> man. It's so cute. The simple E46. That's the only car that really like really like stuck in my head. I'm oh, like, like, this car. That's crazy. <laughs> um, maybe we should go car shopping. We need to drive that Lexus. So we're, yeah, we're Lexus. um, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but looking into getting another vehicle for her, right? It's between uh, Model S Plaid, Model X Plaid, and uh, Lexus. Uh, what is it? IS IS 500. As you guys know, that's the V8 version. So it's basically like the older uh, ISF, but like a newer form, like a modern, like more updated, whatever. I think that's what they're aiming for. Yeah. So it's between those three cars. I'm not really sure when it's gonna happen, what cars is gonna choose, but. I have to test drive that Lexus first. Yeah, obviously we're, we're in a Model X Plaid right now, so sure you know what it feels like. It's still my favorite. We just don't know what the IS500 feels like, so yeah. maybe we can go test drive that today. We'll see. Okay. My camera's dying, so I need to charge it. Update, we actually didn't go see the car because we figured we'd say that for next weekend. They weren't answering the phone, so that's the reason why we're gonna go by. We kinda took care of all the other stuff that we had to do. And so I'm gonna end it here. I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Peace out. Stay safe and stay tuned. Bro, who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Got me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it because you all cap like.